Now, in this lecture, we are going to understand how to work with conditional rendering. So, what is conditional rendering? In conditional rendering, you can change the UI depending on a state. As I said earlier, state is changeable. Using it, we are going to change the UI of the component. So, let's take a look at a very simple example to understand how conditional rendering works in React application. So, let's create a simple React documentation example to understand how conditional rendering works. So, inside my component, I'm going to create a new component. So, I'm going to create a new file for that and specify a name for this component, rendering.js. So, I'm going to specify a name for this component, rendering.js. Inside this file, I'm going to create a React class component. So, I'm going to say here RCC. So, I'm going to use the snippet and press enter. So, this will just create a simple class component in React. Just so that here inside this return statement, I'm going to add my conditional rendering. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first create two buttons just down here. First, for the login and second, for the logout. So, this is for login. So, I'm going to create here a function and then specify here name for this button, login button. If you want, you can create a dedicated file for this function as well. That's upon you. For this example, I'm going to add this function inside this rendering component. So, I'm going to just create this function and pass here props, a component properties. Just like that, here I'm going to return a button. So, I'm going to add here JSX button element and then pass here login text. Just out of that, here I'm going to add on click event and inside this on click event, inside this parenthesis, here I'm going to call an event. So, I'm going to call event using these properties. So, I'm going to say here props dot on click. You can notice I'm using a property on click of props. So, when I call this login button, I need to pass this on click property value. Just out of that, I'm going to create logout button here. Just down here, I'm going to create a new function for logout. So, here I'm going to say function logout button. I'm going to pass properties here as well. So, I'm going to say here props and then return a simple JSX inside this parenthesis. So, I'm going to call here a button and inside it, I'm going to say log out. Just out of that, to this button, I'm going to call an event. So, I'm going to call here on click event and inside this curly braces, I'm going to simply say props dot on click. You can notice for both this component, I'm using the same property on click. That doesn't matter if you are using the same property for both this component because we are passing different values to both this component when we call it. Now, just out of that, when I have this login and logout button just up here, let me just import both these buttons inside this division tag. Now, as you know, I have both this functional component inside this file. So, I don't need to import that to use it. Instead, I can use it directly inside my JSX. So, inside this render method right down here, I'm going to create a simple let button variable just like this and initialize it with a login and logout button. So, just for now, I'm going to say here button is equal to and then I'm going to pass here my button, login button like this. And then as you know, I have this on click event on this login button. So, let me just pass a value to this on click event. So, as you know, I have this on click property. So, let me just pass here a property called on click and here inside this curly braces, I need to pass value. So, as you know, when you pass on click event, you need to pass a function as a callback value. So, when you click on this button, I want to execute a function. So, inside this curly braces, you need to pass a function. So, when you click on this button, I'm going to execute that function. So, inside this component up here, let me just create a method. So, I'm going to say here handle login click. So, I'm going to create a simple method here like this and inside it, I'm going to say console.log and print a simple message login click and then I'm going to pass this function right here to this on click. So, I'm going to just simply say here this dot handle login click. Let me save the changes and just out of that, as you know, I have this login button inside this variable. So, let me just call that variable inside this division tag. So, to this div, I'm going to pass a class which is app and then I'm going to say here in the curly braces, I'm going to pass here button. So, I'm going to just pass this login button here. Just out of that, let me save the changes. Back to my index.js and instead of this user component, I'm going to import my rendering component. 
So here I'm going to get rid of this user and I'm going to say rendering. Let me just copy this component from here and use it like this. So I'm going to just import this rendering class and use it here. So I'm going to paste this rendering here. So I'm going to just import this rendering component inside this index. Let me just save the file. Now when I back to my browser, you can notice I have here a button called login. When I click on this button, you can notice I have here on click event. So as you can notice inside my rendering component, I'm passing this on click event handler from another component. You can notice here I pass here property and I'm going to pass this on click event from this rendering component. I don't need to pass here on click event handler inside this function. Instead, I can pass it with another component as well. Now, just for that, what I want, I want to make a conditional rendering. If I click on the login button, I want to display logout button. And if I click on the logout button, I want to display login button. To do that, here I'm going to simply create a state. So just up here, I'm going to create here a state. So I'm going to start with the constructor and pass here properties. Just after that, I'm going to say here super and inside it, I'm going to pass all my properties. Just after that, here I'm going to create a state. So to create a state, we need to start with this keyword, this dot state is equal to and then you need to initialize your state. I'm going to initialize it with object. So I'm going to see here curly braces and I'm going to say here is logged in and I'm going to pass here default value false. Just after that, inside this handle on click, instead of this console.log, here I'm going to say this dot set state and I'm going to pass here an object to change the state value. So inside this curly braces, I'm going to say is login true. So when we click on the button, I'm going to change the value of the state true. And as you know, we need to bind this state with the event. So inside this constructor here, just down here, I'm going to create a new property of this component. So I'm going to say here this dot handle login click handle login click is equal to this dot call a method handle login click and then I'm going to pass here dot bind method to bind this state with the event. So just for that here I'm going to pass this. This is refers to the current object. So I'm going to pass here this as a parameter. Just for that inside this render right down here I'm going to say constant is logged in is equal to this dot state dot is login. I'm going to call the value of this state property inside this variable. So once I have this value, I can use here if statement. So just down here, I'm going to say if is logged in. If it is written true, then return logout button. Otherwise, in the else statement, I'm going to return this login button. So I'm going to grab this login button and paste it here. Let me just do the same for the logout button as well. So let me copy this statement and paste it here. But instead of login button, I'm going to just copy this logout button and paste it here. So if this value is true, I'm going to just pass this logout component inside this variable and print it. And if this value is equal to false, I'm going to print this login button by storing it inside this variable and print it. That's easy, right? Now, just out of that, I need to create the handler function for this logout button. Because as you can see, both these components use the same handler function. So I need to pass a new handler function for this logout. So just down here, I'm going to say handle logout click. And to this method, I'm going to say this dot set state. And inside the curly braces, I'm going to say is logged in false. And I'm going to pass this method to this logout just like this. Let me save the changes back to my browser and let me just click on this login button. I'm going to get this error message. You will get an error message cannot read property set state of undefined. This is because as I said, you need to bind the state with the event. We already bind the login button with the state, but we haven't done that with this logout button. So let me just do it just down here. I'm going to say this dot handle logout click is equal to this dot handle logout click dot bind and just pass this object here. Let me save the changes. When I click on this login button, you can see I'm going to have a logout button. And when I click on the logout button, 
I'm going to have a login button. So if the user is successfully logged in, he will see the logout button. And if the user is successfully logged in and he want to log out, he can just click on the logout button. Now, just like that, what I want, I want to change the view according to this login and logout button. When I click on the login button, I want to display a different component or you can say a different JSX element. And when I click on the logout button, I want to display a different JSX element. To do that, just down here, I'm going to create a new component and I'm going to name this component for greetings. So just down here, I'm going to say function greetings and pass here property. And inside the if statement, I'm going to say props dot is logged in. I'm going to create a property of this component is login. And here I'm going to say if we have true inside this property, I'm going to just return h2 heading tag with successfully log in message like this and if we have false i'm going to just print this else statement and here i'm going to say return h2 and then i'm going to say here log out successfully just like this just out of that let me just use this component so i'm going to copy this function just before this button i'm going to import this component like this and as you know i have property is logged in to this component so let me just pass that just like this and i'm going to pass here a value this one is logged in so i'm going to just copy this value and paste that here let me save the changes back to my browser and as you can see i'm going to have a message log out successfully because now we are not logged in when i click on the login button i'm going to have here a message successfully logged in when i click on the logout button it's going to print log out successfully so as you can see this is super easy to create a conditional rendering in react so i hope you understand how to change the view according to the state next we're going to see how to work with list and keys